Yeah. Oh, hello? Who's there? Camille. Camille, it's so glad to have you come visit. How are you? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm stressed out today. Come, let's have a snack, all right? You can sit right here. I'll sit here. Here's a plate for you. You're welcome. You can have a cup if you want. I've got uh, mango madness snapple or peach mango. I'm having tea, but I know you don't like tea. <laughs> so, what would you like? Would you like the mango madness or peach mango? Okay, there's your juice. You can pour it in or you can drink it out of the bottle. Yeah. What would you like to go with your juice? Would you like a fruit snack? Would you like an orange? Would you like a granola bar? This is really a cocoa puff bar. Would you like a sucker? That's what you'd like, a sucker? <laughs> All right, let's see if we have anything else. That's a selection. Oh, cookies. Chocolate chip cookies or sugar cookies? Okay, there you go. I've got to get a napkin. I thought I had them. Here's a napkin. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. I'm Dr. Quest Dad, and I teach English at Skyview High School. And this is one of my students in Mall United Nations. This is Camille Cray. Hello. Hi. And we're having a little tea party here today. And um, she's chosen a cookie. I think I want a cookie. This is a peanut butter cookie made with peanut butter. I don't want an orange. I don't want to be healthy today. I don't want a cocoa puff. All right. Um, oh, these are pretzels. They're long pretzels. <sighs> Do you like a pretzel? Yes. You're welcome. Yes. All right. I'm going to have a pretzel too. They're long pretzels. Okay, Camille, what did you do today? I went to school today. Oh, you went to school. And uh, what was your favorite thing that happened today? Come closer so we don't hear that noise. I drew a picture in art class. Do you want to show it? I don't have it. Oh, it's not that one over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> she did draw a picture. I mean, you painted a picture. What was your picture of? It was of a guy playing a guitar. Oh, was the guy, was it another black guy? Yes. So was it an immigrant? Yes. And was it about the blues? Yes. But it's not that one over there. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you want to show that one over sure. there? Sure. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll go get it because I'm closest. Would you like to explain your picture? <laughs> so, this is the picture we were just explaining. I was joking. This is what I did today in class, or what I have done in class last week. Explain about it being an immigrant. This is an African American immigrant in the slave, from the slave era of our country, and they brought the blues guitar to our country. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to have Camille type up our conversation. And we've already talked a lot for her to type. Is there anything we should talk about before we close? No, the doors already open. I don't think so. <laughs> She's thinking, how much work will this be to type? We really liked your letters. Yeah. And Camille has already answered yours. We have three other girls who aren't here today that are missing. <laughs> we don't know where they are. So we've delayed sending the letters. They all say they're writing them, but we haven't got them. Just Camille. She's the dedicated one. And um, hmm, anything else we should say? I don't think so. 
things? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Camille's also a little quiet. She's a shyer person. She's quiet. I'm more what we call gregarious. Anyway, um, hi. And um, if Dr. Karoti is there, we love Dr. Karoti. He, uh, he lives in Portland, which is very close to our city, Vancouver. And he's spoken at our school. Um, and we've seen the movie on his life. And we are Dr. Karate's fans. Well, we're going to sign off for now. And uh, bye. Bye.